So in this video, you will learn how to make a simple light bulb. It's simple because we're not going to mm, show any detail inside of the bulb. We're just going to make a bulb, a shape of the bulb, and then make it light up. Okay. So first of all, we'll get rid of this cube by pressing delete. And we'll go to add, mesh, and bold. Bold. Uh, if you don't have this thing here, you're going to go to Edit, Preferences, uh, Add-ons, and then search for B-O-L-T. Okay. This one, Add Mesh Bold Factory. That's the thing. For example, if I uncheck this one, uh, it's not going to show here. But if I go to Preferences again, uh, add on and then check the bolt factory this is going to show the mesh here so click here this is uh, going to give you a bolt okay so once you get this uh, object do not click away okay do not click anywhere else come to this uh, left bottom part of your screen you will see add bolt click on this and this will show the details about this bolt okay and first of all we're going to see this thread length and we're going to just click and drag and decrease the length all the way to zero meter i guess so that's the lowest it can go um other than that um i'm good let's see the minor dia uh, okay and the major dia okay you can just play with this i think i'm happy happy with this okay um crest percent Let's not play with this. Root percent. Again, this uh, crest and root. Do not play with it. Just uh, keep it as it is. I've just uh, messed it up, but you don't need to do that. Um, so now you can just click away. Okay, we have this bolt here. Now you can just click here, click on the bolt, and go to Edit Mode here. You can see the detail of this bolt first of all uh, we're gonna zoom in and uh, drag like this holding the shift key okay now go to face selection mode okay click here and if you press L now it's not gonna work uh, okay press the face here and Hold the shift and control key. Uh, sorry, press here. Hold the shift and control key. Yeah, that's okay. Shift and control. Shift and control. Shift and control. Shift and control. Actually, we also are gonna select this up here. Shift and control. And. Uh, Shift and control. control. Okay. Now that we have selected this part, oh, let's see if I have selected anything that shouldn't be selected. Oh, actually, I've selected some parts. These ones just hold the shift key and click. Okay. You don't need to select this part. And again, these parts, hold the shift key and deselect those parts. Okay, let's see. Let's check if there's anything left. Okay. It's all good. Now just press delete and go to faces. So we have deleted the faces so you can see through here this there's a hole 
So now what we're going to do is uh, select one of the faces here and then press L. Okay, this is going to this is going to select all the linked faces. Okay, and now press delete and faces. Okay, so now we have this base for our bulb. So let's go to object mode and then go, let's go to add mesh and UV sphere. Press G and Z, Z or Z, whatever you call it. We're gonna keep here and then S, and then we're gonna resize or scale like this. Okay. G again, a little bit up. Okay. Now it looks good. Now we're gonna go to edit mode, having that. Mm, sphere selected. So I'm going to uh, turn on this uh, X-ray and then I'm going to go to this front view by pressing number one. And I'm going to drag like this. Oh, sorry. First of all, we're going to go to vertex. Okay, vertex selection mode. So we're going to go and uh, select these vertices and press delete and then vertices. Okay. So we have this thing here now, and we're gonna select it like this, and then E to extrude, and so that it won't it, it won't go here and there. Just press Z or Z, so that it just goes down. Okay, and here it's okay. Once it reaches this level of this uh, base, click, and then again press S. And drag like this so that's so that it's uh, it's kind of um, becoming smaller okay just and then click uh, so now what we're going to do is press ctrl R when you do that it's uh, there's a yellow line appearing click and then you can just drag up and down uh, Drag like this and click, and then press S to uh, scale, and then we're gonna just oh, it's, it's going crazy. Slowly, just very slowly, drag. You can just hold Shift when uh, dragging so that it won't go crazy. Something like this. Um. Maybe something like this, or um, we can also uh, we can uh, again add the loop cut by co pressing Control R here, and then again, yeah, you know, something like this. Click and then again resize something like this. Okay, now it's okay. Now go to object mode, and here we have this ball. Let's look at the thing here. Turn on, turn off this X ray. We don't need the X ray. I think it has a little bit of hole, so just click here and then S and then drag a little bit here. So that we don't have the hole. Also, we can do like this: G to grab and Z to go down a little bit, a little bit. So go down here and click. Now it doesn't have that uh, hole. Okay. Or still we have G and Z a little bit down here. Okay. Now we're okay. So what we can do is right click and the shade smooth. Also here, right click and shade smooth. Uh, we have this bulb ready. Um, so now what we can do is go to add mesh and plane. Okay, and then S to scale and click. We have the surface and then bulb. 
let's go to this uh, render preview mode and we can see this thing here now what we're going to do is um, click on this base and then go to material properties and click new and we're going to change the color here right now it's um white so i guess the white is white color is okay you don't need to do anything or we can go to here just make it a little golden color okay and decrease the roughness so that it's kind of shiny and then we can make it a little metallic okay we're going to click on this uh, light g to grab and take it up there okay So this is uh, the base. Uh, let's get more metallic. Uh, I don't know. Making metallic doesn't look good here. We can adjust the roughness here. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we need. Uh, let's go to this uh, render properties here and click ambient occlusion bloom screen screen space reflections and click here and click on refraction let's go to shadow uh, we're going to choose uh, 4096 now we're going to click on this bulb the actual bulb and Go to material properties, add new. This time we're gonna choose here instead of instead of uh, principal to PSDF, we're gonna choose emission. Okay. And um, we're gonna make the strength to change the strength to like five. Okay. So you can already see this bulb, you know, working. But you can see that this shadow doesn't look good. Uh, for that, we can go to this view and grab this light and center it. Okay. And this view here, here and center it. Now, you can see that we have a good wide here okay what you can do is um, you can uh, go to number seven on middle pad to see the top view and add light and point grab and then x-axis here and you can duplicate it by pressing shift D. Move it to X axis by pressing X. And again, shift D to duplicate it and X axis. Put it on the center and then again, grab and then Y to Y axis. Move to the Y axis. Shift D again to duplicate it y to y axis okay now these uh, lights are you know down there on this uh, plane but we don't need them that down we're gonna have them a little up okay so we're gonna select all the bulb uh, sorry all the lights here and press G to grab Okay, and then Z or Z. We're gonna have up here with the level of bulb, and individually we have to click on the light and 
change the power to around like 300 300 and here this one 300 this one 300 and this one 300 now if you okay oh, that's good uh, we don't need to do anything with this now if you go to this plane and add new material and then choose the color here this is gonna look great okay so this is a very simple uh, a very simple light bulb in blender hope you like this video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel